Super Eagles goalkeeper don't respond to threats from South African fans after Nigerian semi final victory. Welcome back, amazing people. Just recent, after the showdown marked by stout defensive displays from the Bafana Bafana and the Super Eagles, Nigeria emerged triumphant, clinching a spot in the finals over South Africa. Stanley Umwabali, the first choice of the first Eagles, don't break silence following Nigeria's trailing semi-final victory in the 2023 African Cup of Nations, which took place on Wednesday, February 7, 2024. The Super Eagles' first choice shared his thoughts on the tense match and expressed his gratitude to the supporters on both sides of the battle. Recall that Nigeria defeated South Africa in a match that saw strong defensive plays from both teams, earning them a spot in the championship game. Nguyen Bali demonstrated his skill during the suspenseful penalty shootout by making two vital saves that ultimately sealed the Super Eagles' victory. He has thereafter been warned by South Africans not to return to their country over his saving two penalties of South African players during the penalty shootout between the Super Eagles and Bafana Bafana, which happened to be South African's team. However, taken to his Twitter handle, Mwabali shared his feelings by expressing his abiding love for the game and sending love messages to his fans in South Africa and Nigeria. He emphasized his enduring affection for South Africa, where he currently plies his trade, despite the intensity of competition on the pitch. In his words, he said, and I quote, This is a game I am born to play. A night to remember, I felt every bit of it. Brick by brick, and dreams are coming true. No love lost at all. I still love South Africa as much as their fans love me. And I love this team with all my heart. One body conveyed on the social media platform. The 27-year-old shortstopper made a significant move to South African Premier Soccer League side Chipa United in December 2022, transitioning from Nigeria Professional Football League side Katsina United. Mwambali, who made a memorable AFCON debut, is ready to build on a strong Showing has Nigeria gets ready to play Côte d'Ivoire in the AFCON tournament final in 2023. Meanwhile, Nigerians have continued to celebrate the country, qualifying for AFCON finals after the match with South Africa. Amazing people, let me quickly take you through some of the comments that were generated. This particular one said, That is the reason I used to say we Africans are still very far from football. We are still using an animal brain on football, even as I am writing now from Habijon, the Austin nation. We all that living in this country are afraid of xenophobia from their citizens. Another shared, football is a sport. The essence of Africa Cup of Nations is to foster unity and enhance our competitive spirit. South Africans should not attack Nigerians in their country because they lost the last game. There's always room to win some other time. Let brotherly love continue among Africans. Bravo Mwabali, our indefeatable Gebo goalkeeper, and hold the Nigerian players for excellent performances. Another shared, Please, I will advise you to leave that club. If something happens to you, it's your family that will bear the loss and the world will move on. 
and to when you are alive, you can play football. Another share, this is stupidity of the highest order. Anyway, I will not blame them. Entirely, yet politicians I blame that reduce the country to nothing in the eyes of the world. Another shared, DSTV is owned by South Africa. If they do otherwise, we'll send DSTV and go TV parking. While another said, is it only South African that lost in the game? Sign of primitive and timidity that triggered apathy regime. Another share this time around, if they should try anything on Nigerians, they will be banned from all international football completely. <laughs> well, amazing people, what are your thoughts about this? This whole thing, okay? Can you share with us? And we only hope all is well. If you are in South Africa and you're watching the video, we should embrace more of love. Nigerians, we should embrace more of love. We are all African countries. We are all together. So let the brotherly love continue. Let us promote more of unity. How many people people can join in this conversation? What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and thank you once again. <laughs>